All right, now we're gonna reassemble the trigger assembly. Key point is to align the spring into a little bore on the, on the actual shear. Then we're gonna align this pin here on this half, lower shear assembly, the half moon. And there's another half stop pin down here. Go and assemble the cover plate. Because when you flip it around, sometimes this pin will fall off. So we're just gonna put in this. We're gonna put one for now, just in case we have to do some adjustments later. Actually, my ratchet is at the bare minimum torque. Now we're going to assemble the top plate. Uh, first, we're going to put the I'm going to fall off. This is your feeder assembly, a pellet probe rod. And when you put this in, you gotta make sure your little Delron bushing. There's four on top, four on the bottom. It's a little like a little bushing for it to slide freely. Right. Goes in just like that. Got to align your okay, flipper, you can see, it's your cocking handle, has to align with this pin, with this block. Just like that, close it. Now, if you took this off and accidentally rotate the rear section, it's kind of left-hand thread. Either way, if you turn this, it will make this section here longer. And it will affect your transport alignment on your pellet probe. And if it's too short, when you cock it, your pellet block, feeder block, We'll go further to the magazine hole and it's going to crimp your magazine, hit it, then you can't close your handle. So it's very important, there's a specific alignment for this measurement. It's 45 millimeter. I'm going to lower the pad so I have access here to measure the depth. Uh, where to measure? Well, right here in the edge of this butt plate, all the way down to the feeder block, and we'll measure it. Right there is 45.69. It's slightly little over. All right, to make that slightly longer. And you turn it uh, clockwise to lengthen it. It's like a full revolution, there's no option. Put it back in. Align the pin to the handle. Close the handle again. It will measure again. There you go. Got 45. When you cock it, and the feeder block doesn't go past the mag cavity. All right, that's set. Now we're going to install the top plate. 
And this bushing here is for your barrel bushing. All right. This O-rings in here, if you had your, when you remove your barrel and you feel sloppy, there's no restriction, maybe you need to change this O-rings in here. All right, but we'll assemble that it is right now. Like that. This block. If you get your orientation, uh, this is a forward screw hole. It's for your scope mount, so it goes this way. First thing I do, I line the, the longer screws. And when there's longer screws that are in there, they kind of all just kind of pop in place, fall in place. You want to uh, get a couple of threads each one of these because you don't want to start torquing over here. If these are not aligned, <laughs> guarantee some of these are not going to line up and you're going up crossing threads, stripping them, trying to force it in there. Just to make it a little quicker, I put this kind of. A couple threads in there. When they're all threaded, then I'll do my torque pattern. All right, we're gonna to torque this piece, the the rail. The rail keeps everything aligned. All right, this section here is kind of free floating, and it gets aligned by this plate. So. When I torque it, I want this these two to be aligned perfectly. I want to clamp it. I mean, torque it down. So I don't remember if I loosen this screw here. Uh, right here. This clamps in this uh, reg tubes, prevent it from moving. And the reg tubes, you know, thread into the rear block, it prevent it from moving. So I want it to, when I torque it, I want it to freely move with the rail. Then we'll, we'll retighten this after the rail is torqued down. Now this section will be free, you know, free to move with the rail. Most I tighten the front, one in the front. All right, I set my torque to number eight. Usually that's a perfect torque. And one in the back. All right, and kind of crisscross them. Now it's torque. Now we're retighten the clamp here. 